So FedEx is going to give you a hitch slip and on the hitch slip there's going to be your dolly number. Once you find your dolly, do a good pre-trip. Make sure all the tires are good all around. Check your fifth wheel plate. Make sure it's greased. Everything looks good there. Check any hoses for any damage, tears, or brakes on them. Make sure all hoses are good. It does have both safety chains. And then you're gonna, maneuvering the dolly, um, it's good to have it in, in motion. When it's stationary, you can't turn a dolly. So you have to move it and then start turning it is what's key to maneuvering a dolly. Once you've secured the dolly to the tractor, just as if you're hitching it up to a trailer, you want to use your safety chains. Before you leave with it, ensure that all hoses are inside the basket as to not run them over when you're driving. After you've hitched your dolly to the tractor and moved it over to your trailers, you want to ensure that the dolly is placed in front of the lighter trailer because it's your rear trailer. The heavier trailer is going to be on the tractor and it's on the front. So heavy trailer on the front, light trailer on the rear. When connecting to a trailer that's at a dock, before you couple to the trailer, always ensure that there's no package handlers working the trailer before you connect to it. Trailer is good to connect to. Once you've hitched your tractor up to the lead trailer, connect emergency and service air hoses. Service and lights. Ensure that the fifth wheel hitch is secured underneath the trailer. You want to look at your jaws. You look good. And then raise your landing gear fully. and that's coupling the tractor to the trailer.
After you position the dolly and position your lead trailer, you're gonna couple the dolly to the trailer. You gotta ensure that the trailer brake is set. That's the alarm that you hear. Um, there's no emergency air flowing into the trailer. Um, all you gotta do is just position the dolly onto the pinnel hitch. Make sure your hands are not touching the tongue because that's where it's gonna connect. Right here, there's a couple different mechanisms for the tongue on the pinnel hitch. This particular one, you pull this knob back and it will release the flap. Make sure your fingers are, are clear of it. Just like that. Make sure that it doesn't get pushed back in. It's locked. Connect your safety chains. Make sure they're both secure. And then connect your hoses. The hoses that go to the lead trailer always run out of the front of the dolly. So you're gonna disconnect your glad hand dummies. And then you're gonna connect your emergency air. Lights. And service line. Your dolly's connected. After connecting your dolly to the lead trailer, if it has airbags on the dolly, you wanna supply the dolly by pressing in your emergency air button. Make sure that your tracker brake is still parked, applied. So, service air out, emergency air in, and that's gonna supply air to the dolly. So after you supply it, both alarms on the dolly and the trailer will go away because it now has emergency air. On the dollies that have the airbags, after I hitch it up to the rear trailer, I like to apply only the tractor air because if you were to set the trailer brakes as well, the emergency brakes, the dolly is then gonna dump all of its air, which means that the fifth wheel plate would be hanging from the kingpin because the landing gear go back to the ground. And then I can demonstrate that real quick here.
This is what happens if you set the trailer brakes after you've connected to the rear trailer. That fifth wheel plate will hang down on the kingpin. So you wanna ensure that once you connect to it, you keep the air on. So after you've connected the dolly to the trailer, before you do anything else, you're gonna to wanna to raise your landing gear so you can apply your parking brake for the dolly. Now that the landing gear have been raised, it's safe for me to set the parking brake for the trailers. Once you've raised your landing gear and set your brakes, it's safe to connect your airlines, emergency, service supply, and lights. Get underneath the trailer, check your fifth wheel plate again. Jaws are locked. And then we are gonna reapply air. Do your walk around for your second trailer. Bump your tires. Okay, at the rear of the trailer, you're gonna to wanna to check your lights and then check your emergency service glad hand to ensure that there's air going all the way through the trailer system. There it is, reconnect it. You're gonna walk around the other side, do your pre-trip down this end. All right, after checking your lights and your tires on your rear trailer, double check the dolly coupling to ensure that you do in fact have your safety chain secured and that the pinnel hitch is latched. You will notice here there are two air rods. While the air is supplied, the air rods push together on the dolly tongue. This is the dolly air rod and this is the trailer air rod. Those, those clamp together against the tongue of the dolly to ensure that it's, it's fully coupled. Secure here and safety chains are on. No audible air leaks through the air hoses. The dolly is secure. Double check your lights again. As you walk around this edge of the trailer, you're gonna wanna look back to make sure that all your running lights are on. It's everything in the reverse order. You're gonna first lower your landing gear all the way to the ground. Do 
disconnect your glad hands and replace them on the retainers inside the dolly basket. Airline. Make sure all hoses are inside the basket. And they're not gonna fall out. You're gonna pull your fifth wheel pin out. And you're ready to pull ahead to drop the trailer. When dropping the dolly, you want to have both brakes set. And the first thing you're going to do is release the dolly brakes. And there's a button inside the basket right here. You're going to push the button. And that releases the dolly brakes so that you can now pull it off of the pinnel hitch. Disconnect all your air lines and your lights. Don't forget to replace the retainers with the glad hands. Remove your safety chains. And release your tongue for the pinnel hitch. Just like that. Drop the dolly. Now you've broken down your doubles, you're ready to park your lead trailer. After you've parked it, you can come back and get your dolly. After you've got your dolly and replaced it, you can park your rear trailer. It's complete. After you've parked your lead trailer, disconnect your airlines and secure them to the tractor. Lower your landing gear. Pull your fifth wheel pin. Complete. 